This is the view you get of Phuket for $50 a night. How amazing is that? Hello, how are you? Is the party happening? Yeah. Oh, it's buy one, get one free cocktails. And up here is the pool that overlooks Patong. Wow, this is beautiful. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another little video from here in Phuket, Thailand. Now, right now I'm in Patong Beach, one of the most popular areas of the entire island and an area where you're probably going to be staying if you're coming out here looking to enjoy the real Phuket vibes. And I'm talking about Bangla Road, Patong Beach, all of the craziness. So today I'm going to show you guys my hotel. I'm going to show you guys what 50 US dollars can get you per night here in Patong Beach in the most popping area of the entire island. You guys always ask me to show you my accommodation, where I'm staying and what you can get for your money in the areas that I visit. So that's what I'm doing today. Right now I'm actually starting this video off right in front of the Patong Beach sign. The beach is pretty active, however it's still extremely hot out here. During the day it's almost impossible to relax at the beach unless you're under an umbrella or underneath a palm tree if you're just laying out in the sand it's gonna be extremely brutal now this here is the main Avenue you can find all kinds of restaurants bars burger spots like this souvenir shops and of course all of the tuk-tuks which are actually these little like pickup trucks they look a lot different than regular tuk-tuks that you're used to seeing in Thailand like the Bangkok tuk-tuks and in my opinion, they're actually quite affordable as well. You can get, I'll throw out some prices for you. Uh, I want to, go to, the mall. to give you guys a little example, you can actually get into one of those little tuk tuk trucks and go from Patong over to Kamala Beach for like 500 bots, and you can actually take them all the way down to the airport for roughly 800. Now, this here is the famous Bangla Road. However, right now, during the day, there's not much going on. It's basically like a big shopping street, um, a couple restaurants. But at night, this place turns into complete madness. It gets insane. And yeah, there's weed shops absolutely everywhere right now, which is quite interesting to see because last year, this time around, there wasn't any weed shops anywhere. So it's pretty cool to see. That one says Magic Weed Happy Cannabis. They got the Weedly Wonka. Very interesting boulevard. And right now there's actually cars driving down this road, but in the evenings this is completely shut down and it's a pedestrian walking street but i'll show you guys more of that later on tonight um, when we come back out to explore this boulevard oh look who we have hiding right here hello hello how are you i'm a little bit scared she's she's stressing right now yeah she just got done doing parasailing on the beach and um, she made a video for you guys. So if you guys want to see what Patong Beach is looking like a little bit more in depth She made an awesome video for you guys, but right now she's stressing out. She she had an anxiety attack, huh? I got a drone adventure. Yeah, true. She I became a, a drone human drone <laughs> But it was fun, right? It was fun. Yeah So um, yeah, go check out Gladys's video. She has an awesome one. Yeah, not right now. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it but Yeah, this here is the main street leading up to our hotel. Our hotel is literally about, a, I want to say 50 meters up the road, not far at all. And it's quite a nice area. Here you got all kinds of massage parlors, a lot of taxis line up here. They got the Hello Kitty taxi, um, all kinds of seafood restaurants. It's a very nice area and that's exactly why I decided, why not? Let me show you guys where I'm staying and give you guys an idea of a perfect place that you can call home when you visit Patong because there's so many different hotels to choose from here in the area. You can stay in hotels that are $300 a night like the Intercontinental. You can stay in places that are $15 a night like the Silver Resort Hotel that we visited last year, which is actually only one street past um, where we're staying at right now. However, will be my heart. yeah, it's a nice spot. However, it's very simple. The room we were in last year didn't even have a window. Uh, but it did the job. It was perfectly fine. I'm okay right now. Thank you, bro. It was perfectly fine Great air conditioning great customer service and they even had beach towels for rent for their customers That were completely free. I guess they're, they lend you out the beach towels So that was super nice to see last year and now this time around 
we're spending $50 a night to stay in a spot that's a little bit more a little bit nicer it has a balcony view it has a swimming pool a gym so keep in mind that Phuket caters to all budgets but yeah a lot of movement out here this morning or this evening I should say I mean afternoon god I'm all confused this is what happens when you're on beach time I think it's three in the afternoon right now but yeah look on this street you also have like a McDonald's they have a Burger King as well so if you're into like all the Western food you can find that here there's also Indian food everywhere actually I'm kind of in the mood for some Indian food let's see what the Indian food prices are so for some chicken courses seafood courses yeah around two 290 to 320 so around nine US dollars not bad Indian food is oh that menu is so hot actually I can't even touch that no more but Indian food tends to be quite expensive everywhere in the world because it's so damn good exactly now there's also weed everywhere what's up bro oh yeah they got some brownies cookies hey how's it going bro brownies cookies all kinds of stuff man like fresh fruit coconuts you want a coconut to wind down let's get you a coconut oh that's a hard cocoa Under you, under you, right there. <laughs> Hello, one. Thank you. Thank you, Greece. I know you need that right now after that parasailing adventure you just had. Yeah. Wow, look how nicely priced the smoothies are. Thank you. Excuse me. You know what? I take one banana. Banana smoothie. Yeah, you have the best price in Phuket. Yeah. <laughs> On the beach, the smoothies, 200 baht. This lady, 50. So you want to come here and drink your smoothies. Oh, awesome. And it's close to the hotel. We're right around the corner. So let's get this smoothie on. And then, um, yeah, we'll continue on to the hotel. But you know what? I'm going to stand under this umbrella because, man, it is cooking out here. But yeah, look, guys, you can get a nice big um, cup full of freshly chopped fruit for 100 this is that's star fruits, right? Uh, this one's star fruit? Yeah, star fruits. I don't think I've had those before to be fair. Or maybe I have. I'm not sure. But yeah, man, the fruit here in Thailand, the food here in Thailand, everything is super delicious, super fresh. Oh, I feel like there's nowhere to hide right now. Ooh, here, it's hi. so hot. Yes. How's your coconut? It's very delicious. Super fresh. Uh, so we think Thailand. I it. thought we paid already. Hmm? Yeah, we paid. This is the change. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Awesome. This is to pay your banana smoothie. So that's for the banana smoothie. Thailand has the best bananas and the best pineapple. And the best mangoes. And the best mangoes. For that's true. Mango Man, rice. everything's amazing in Thailand. Roman pack. Roman pack. What does that mean? Too hot? Roman pack. Phuket's every day hot. Tomorrow rain. Oh, no good. Yeah, we're entering the rainy season right now. So, um, it tends to rain a lot here in Thailand. So, you gotta make sure you plan your trip accordingly, guys, because you can find yourself, um, stuck here during rainy season and it's not as enjoyable as it is when it's not rainy season so make sure you guys do some proper planning before coming on out here and make sure you come on out here at the right time dang Gladys really wanted that coconut you killed it huh it's because I'm scared I'm not I'm like anxious you're not scared you still have I, I think the right word is you still have anxiety anxiety right from the from the whole flight yes, yes. would you think you'll jump out of a plane now uh, I don't know it's something I want to do maybe maybe if I feel 
like the place it's completely safe, safe. <laughs> you know I think I won't go there all right all right <laughs> fair enough I, I agree with you on that one all right the banana smoothies coming on up but yeah best best prices in Phuket man 50 baht for a first smoothie can't even go wrong and I also like this guy taxi driver yeah he's awesome he's huh? nice he's super nice Get even now. Cup and crop. Thank you. Oh, this is nice. See you later, sir. Thank you. Mm. Oh man, that is amazing. You wanna try it? Let me see. It's so fresh. Ooh, now, point. yeah, it's on point, huh? Now right here, there's actually the Phuket Immigration Office. If you guys want to come extend a visa, this is where you come. Me and Gladys came here last year, and we extended our visas for literally, what, fifty dollars? And all they yeah. all they ask for is a um, a picture, your a, a passport photo, and you're good to go. Oh man, they got too much music. But let me show you guys what's going on over here. They got some like surfing. Now we can't linger there too much, too much music, but... I like the police station because you can see all the people coming out very happy with a smile in their faces because there you can extend your visa, ask for permission to stay longer than 90 days and all kinds of things related to... Staying in staying Thailand. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Everybody comes out of there with a smile on their face. But this here is the hotel I'm staying at, the Hotel Clover Patong. This here is where the breakfast is. Um, they actually have breakfast for 350 baht per person, which is extremely affordable. And the hotel itself is very beautiful and simple. I like it actually a lot. All right, let's go on inside. This here is the lobby area. Oh, sawadee kab. Feels so much better. No, serious. No, seriously, outside is an oven right now. And this hotel smells so good. So good, so fresh, huh? All right, we're actually up on the, on the fifth floor. But yeah, down here, there's all kinds of places to lounge around. They have a tour desk where you can actually book your tours and your transportation. Oh, man. Hello, ma'am. What floor do you want? Floor number five, please. Oh, floor number five. Okay. Gladys is so funny. Can Gladys. you help me with the drink for a second? Oh, do you want me to help you with your drink while I'm your elevator assistant? That's going to be 200 baht for you. <laughs> She's so funny. But yeah, this here is the Hotel Clover. I actually booked it on agoda.com. Um, supposedly, they got cheaper rates here in person, but it was pretty expensive to extend. We arrive, ma'am, please. Thank you, Fifth thank floor. you. <laughs> Gladys is so funny. Hello, Hello. how are you? Hello, is the party happening? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's buy one, get one free cocktails. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. We might have to do the happy hour, guys. But yeah, look, down here is the gym area. So they have a gym, like all the e equipment you're going to need. And up here is the pool that overlooks Patong. Wow, this is beautiful. You know what? Let's walk over here a little bit more. I want to show you guys a bit more of the rooftop. This here is the rooftop bar. And over in this direction, we're going to have amazing views of Patong Beach. Oh, no. This is a cool little rooftop. Now, I haven't spent much time up here because it's like an oven. However, this might be where I come for a little swim during sunset. Wow, this is nice. It just needs a roof, huh? Yeah. Is this hot? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's super hot. But look, that's what Gladys was doing right now. She was in a little parasail over Patong. I actually just got done getting a Hello Kitty tattoo too, if you guys are wondering what that is. And I came back to the hotel because it's burning extremely bad. I don't recommend just getting random henna on the streets. I don't know what they use in that mix, but yeah, look at the views you get. This, this is the view you get of Phuket for $50 a night. How amazing is that? Only here in Thailand. And the pool itself looks so, so beautiful. All right. 
Yes. Well, you know what? This is going to be the hangout spot once it cools down a little bit. Yeah, because right now it's too hot from muck. But you know what? Right now I am down to jump in the pool. But yeah. I think I'll compensate with that with a nice cold shower after I finish this video. Yeah. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this um, amazing little hotel here. Now, like I said, there's hotels literally everywhere. I mean, all of these buildings that you're looking at are pretty much all hotels. And the hotel that I told you that's 15 bucks a night, it's actually just right in front of that like blue building that you're looking at. So the next big street over, not bad at all. All right, let's make our way down the steps and it's time to show you guys my crib. Oof! oh man, it's hot. Very hot today. <laughs> oh wow they got a pretty girls offer area room rates starting at 4,500 includes three nights accommodation and ladies premier balcony daily buffet a choice of one-time signature floating breakfast oh man I should have got you the pretty girl offer what? and they look you even got early check-in and late check-in oh. wow that's the first time I've ever heard of a lady pretty lady offer in a hotel awesome to be honest when i read that i thought there was something else because <laughs> we're in me thailand too, i thought too. that like they can get you a room with some pretty ladies or something yeah. <laughs> but yeah the hallways are super nice as i mentioned the room the hotel's very simple but it's very beautiful and you can't really find this much bang for your buck in a lot of countries for only 50 dollars. this is what makes asia so special and for all of you guys contemplating coming to Thailand or to Asia in general, you guys better plan your trip soon because things are getting more expensive every time. Every mm. time we visit, it's getting more and more expensive. So plan that trip soon or else you might be left out. All right. Oof, excuse the mess. Hello, I have sir. made a mess because, um, yeah, we got to this room a few hours ago. What? Are you okay? Oh my god, I hit my toe, you know the little toe? Oh no. <laughs> I used to have a, a laundry room right on, right inside of my kitchen when I was growing up and I would always stub my pinky toe. I'm keeping the hat on because I need a haircut, like an emergency haircut. But this room, so we actually moved to this room a few hours ago. However, we've been in the hotel for two nights now and it's beautiful. This here is like the king size bed. I don't know why they have pillows that say Let's go to Bali. You would think they want you to stay in Thailand. Because the lady that stays here wants to go to Bali. You know? Do you want to go to Bali? Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll take you to Bali Excuse one day. Excuse me, sir. Here you have your... Oh, true. Hoppers. Thank you, thank you. Have Gladys you... hates it when you wear shoes from the outside inside. I'm, com I'm turning into a Thai. Which I don't blame her. It is kind of gross, but I forgot because I was making this video. But yeah, the room is super comfortable. It has air conditioning, all kinds of international outlets, USB ports, beautiful decorations. It's very spacious. You have like a little desk area. This here is the balcony. We don't got the best view, but they do have rooms that offer that. We got a mirror, big television, and before, you know what, you guys gotta deal with my nappy hair. Before you guys start thinking this is sponsored, it is not. I paid every single penny for this place. And to be completely honest with you guys, we're in this room because I complained about the last room. There was some construction going on um, two doors down to the room that I had originally booked. And Phuket's so hot that I want to hang out in the room during the day sometimes for like one hour or two. So the drilling was annoying. And uh, luckily, I went downstairs, talked to the manager, and she switched me into this room like no questions asked. She just said, okay. Um, pack your bags, give me a call, and I'll send somebody up to get your bags for you and bring them around. So just throwing that out there for you guys. Um, over here we have a closet that is fully loaded with, yeah, slippers, sandals for the pool, towels, robes. Over in this direction, I got like a mess already. It has a flashlight, safe deposit box, which um, I never use a safe in the hotel. Maybe we should start, though. Well, we, I've, I've never used one, to be fair. Um, we also got a coffee pot, water, coffees, teas. Wow, these cups are beautiful. Don't worry. Be happy. I like those. 
Nice little refrigerator. What is this? A drawer? Yeah, a little drawer. And then in here is the bathroom. I mean, like I said, pretty simple place, but beautiful. It comes with all the different soaps, shampoos you might need, blow dryer, towels, nice toilet, the butt pistol. You know what? Does this one come with an iron? I don't think so. But you know what? Based off of my experience traveling, usually when a room doesn't have an iron, you can ask for it downstairs and they'll give you one. Oh, now this one also do does have an, an umbrella. Do you want an iron? Do you need an iron? <laughs> Gladys is too much, man. She, I know what she's looking for right now. The hotel is gonna take care of you, don't worry, sir. I'm gonna find an iron <laughs> for you. Gladys travels with an iron. <laughs> I can't make this up. Where's your iron? Don't tell me you left it in the last room. No, no, I think it's here. Oh, don't worry, sir. Do you need an iron in the, what's the name? Clover Hotel? Clover Hotel. We have an iron for you. <laughs> so this is the iron that Gladys travels with, and it's Travel cute. Size. It's small, <laughs> and to be honest, um, we actually use it quite a lot. She doesn't let me leave the house without ironing my shirts. And excuse me, I'm who asked me to iron shirts. Okay, okay. I got the best girlfriend in the world. <laughs> I mean, get you one of them. <laughs> so, the only problem with that iron is that it takes up my baggage space. But we're not gonna talk about that right now because we don't want to bring that kind of negative energy around here. But yeah, guys, this is the room. This is what fifty U.S. dollars gets you a night here in Thailand. I mean. Pretty simple, pretty beautiful, but right next to Bangla Road, right next to Patong Beach, um, all of the other locations of the island are easily accessible. You got a lot of tour companies here nearby that can sort you out on trips to James Bond Island, Kopp. Um, what are some of the other surrounding islands? I forget. Well, you can go to the Big Buddha. You can go to Phuket Town. You can go to a more chill area like Kamala Beach. You can also go to... Karon Beach. Karon Beach. You can go to Freedom Beach. You can go to the beach and have a massage wow, with Wow, we tan. need to go to Freedom <laughs> Beach. I think tomorrow we're going to rent a scooter. I don't know what you're about to say. In this area, you can go wrong. You can't go wrong. <laughs> she knows me too well. You can't go wrong, guys. Well, anyways, check out Gladys' videos for more from Batong. I hope you enjoyed this little walk around, this little tour of this hotel. I just wanted to, you know, share this experience with you guys. Forty, I mean, $50 a night, not bad at all. Not bad, a lot of bang for your buck, and definitely a great place. Now, I think they have more expensive room options so that you don't have a view like this. But... I'm perfectly fine with this. <laughs> $50 a night, awesome. Now, we did stay in a place called the Novotel in Kamala Beach. $50 wow. a night. That hotel puts this one to shame, guys. Like, 100%. The pool is like one of those infinity pools that meets the ocean. That hotel is so beautiful. The only problem with that is, is you're a little bit farther outside of Patong, but it's only a 500 baht taxi to Patong, a 15 minute drive. So if you're coming here in like a group of three, like we did before my friend left home yesterday, Kamala Beach, a great option, a lot more quiet. And in my opinion, a little bit more enjoyable than Patong because Patong, you can get pretty sick of it quite mm, fast. It's very loud, too much music. I think this is okay for one night, two nights maximum. But if you come in a more a family plan, more chill plan, Or you just want to chill. Yeah, you just want to chill, definitely the Novotel in Kamal Beach. Exactly. Or maybe go down and check out Karon. Like, those are where people stay um, when they're coming for a longer stay. But if you're coming for, yeah, two, three nights maximum, then stay in Patong because that way you can be next to the party. But if party is just not even, like, on your list, then I think you can just come to Patong for one afternoon one evening and you're gonna be perfectly fine am i right yeah that's okay mm -hmm. however we're here to make videos so the videos are happening in patong <laughs> all right later guys My thanks God. for joining me i appreciate you so thank much thank you for inviting me how can people find you oh if you want to watch me talk in english videos that's sarah travels if you want me if, if you want to watch me 
having messages all over the world. Let's say at a beauty. If you want me talking to you in Spanish, that would be my main channel, Gladys Seara. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Bye. I always love having you in my videos. You're oh, the best. Thank you. You're the best and your audience is the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'll see you again soon for another one. Let me know what you think about this hotel. A lot of bang for your buck, right? In LA, you can't even get a Motel 6 for cheaper than 100 bucks nowadays. And you can't go wrong. <laughs> I'm out of here. Later, guys. You're always smarter.